All right. Uh, it's been kind of cloudy and overcast all day today. It's kind of cold. It's in the 50s. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time. It's about 5 o'clock, I think, now. Uh, should be getting dark by 6.30. Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting somebody for some business here in about half an hour or so. So I'm going to see if I can catch a fish before that. So here's another rush hour fishing video. This time I'm not at a creek. I'm at Elmendorf Lake. <clears throat> Water's pretty clear. Looks good. This is a Fluger ultralight reel. Fluger Tryon. And uh, another micro series, micro series Shakespeare. Not, I don't think this is the ultralight. No, this is just a regular light, so it's got a little bit more backbone to it. So it's more a little bit more versatile. Just throw different kind of baits with it. Feels pretty good. It's a good rod, seven foot rod, light action. <clears throat> Looks like they've done a pretty good job cleaning up most of this vegetation that choked out the whole lake. But I'm not sure about the fish. It has gotten colder. The temperature has been, just been dropping throughout the day. It's pretty crazy. I was hoping the water temperature wouldn't be affected too much, but the way it's been going, it's still going to affect the fish. Alright, as cold as it is, I'm going to go hit some of the, a deeper point that I know about. So, This temperature change is drastic. I mean, it's been in the 80s all week. It was warm and sunny yesterday, and then all of a sudden today it is cold and overcast. And drastic changes like that really affect the bite. I can't believe this. My camera was not even on, and this is a good fish right here. This thing is fat. Oh, man. This is the best fish I've ever caught out of here. Wow. It has been a long time since I caught something this solid. Look at this. I can't believe my... Well, my camera battery must have died while I was recording because it's down to one bar all of a sudden now. Look at that. This thing is fat. It's definitely in pre-spawn mode. I was not expecting, I wasn't expecting to catch anything at all. But this, geez. I'm gonna get a weight on her real quick. Try to get her back in the water as quick as I can. I cannot believe that my camera was not on. Every time I catch a decent fish, my camera is not on. It's about two and a half, 2.49, so it's a half a pound off. Man, get a quick estimate on her here. About 17 inches. You know what? This is a nice, solid chunk right here. Get her back in there. She's swimming off all right. Wow. I can't believe that. So yeah, what it was is my, my camera battery died and I didn't realize it was off. And that fish inhaled it what I did was out over this way I'll actually walk right up over there to it I was standing on this end of the clearing and I walked over here and threw it right on the edge of the weeds and stuff right over there and they that fish took it almost immediately I thought I was snagged at first because it was so quick she went right after it that was the biggest bass I've ever seen come out of this lake in person anyway. I've heard about people catching bigger ones, but that's the biggest one I've actually seen. That's a great sign, and she was fat. Getting ready to start spawning here in a month or so. Uh, 
me see here. 536. What's that? Oh, sorry, I still couldn't hear you. I'm not following you or recording you. No, I fucking didn't, you stupid son of a bitch. If you don't want to be on camera, don't be out in public. Ain't nobody fucking following you. You have no expectation of privacy in public anyway, even if I was. You don't, my camera's pointed that direction. And you're making me turn to face you and you're getting mad that you're on camera? Shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody fucking following you, dude. I didn't take any fucking pictures of you. It's a video. I'm recording myself fishing. It's pointing wherever I'm pointing. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm not fucking videoing you. Yeah, well, that there's the worst part about San Antonio. I'm not going to show most of that footage, but yeah. That guy, for whatever reason, he thought I was following him around the lake, taking pictures of him. So I don't know what his problem was. He asked me what the time was. I told him, and then he started asking me why I'm following him and taking pictures of him. And I've got a really, really short temper when it comes to stupid people. So I, I snapped on him, went off, and... Yeah, he actually ended up apologizing because I cussed him out so much. But, yeah. Uh, well, I did catch a nice bass, and I'm going to go ahead and call that the video there and get out of here before, the, before it gets dark because you don't want to be around these people too much. I try not to show any of that stuff, but it happens everywhere I go. Yeah, this one, I just couldn't avoid it. He, he caught me at the wrong time and set me off. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.